now that we have our DRO set up, we can make some cuts. Don't forget our lubrication here. We're going to put that on. The next thing that we're going to do is keep an eye on what our DRO is saying because that's where we're going to drive. Now, realize this right here is going to go all the way down to the two inch mark, right? So that's two inches right about here. So it's probably not a bad idea for us to back it off just a little bit, start the lathe, and make a little mark. Now there's a few things you should notice. The first thing is, is that I have this uh, chip that's wrapped up in here. I need to fight the urge to reach in there with my hands. That's a quick way to get cut. So what I'm going to do is just turn around here. We talked a little bit about our cleaning tools and our chip mitigation. This is a hook. This hook right here, if you were wondering what it was before, is for tearing these long chips off of your part. Now a chip like this isn't necessarily perfect, but it's not terribly uncommon. Um, it's probably due to uh, being slightly worn out or slightly chipped on the end, uh, but that's okay. It's leaving a, a decent cut at the moment, um, and it is sharp enough to do what we need to do anymore, and we're going to have an issue with that. But I'm going to keep that chip hook handy, and then what I'm going to do is, is I, again, continue to keep an eye on my Z and my X. Uh, and then the other thing I'm going to do is, is have my calipers in place, and I'm going to measure on a regular basis to know exactly where I'm at. And then that way, when I make a cut of 50 thousandths up here, this should be exactly 50,000 smaller. And if it's not, I need to spend the time to figure out why it's not, make those corrections before I get this down to the 0.497 diameter that I'm supposed to get.